Hello friends, welcome to my channel Sushant Chess Wise. Today we are going to look at a new topic based on king and pawn and games. That is the race of pawns. Okay. So what is the race of pawns? There will be passers for both white and black, and we will see how to deal with the pass pawn. So it is based totally on the concept of magic square. So I have discussed the concept of magic square in a previous lesson. So what we see uh, in this position here that uh, white has got a passer which is about to queen and same for black. So this position is white to play. Let's have a look and see what happens. At first look, it looks like the game will be drawn. After the moves b6, g3, b7, g2, b8 queen and g1 queen. The game will be drawn because both will have queens and then nothing can be done over there. Okay. <coughs> but here there is an important factor. If we look at the white pawn, the white pawn is queening on the b8 square and the magic square will be from b8 to we draw diagonal till the pawn slide and when we draw another diagonal. So we get this square and what we see? The black king is two steps away from coming within the square of the pawn. Okay, but if you look at the white king, you will note that the magic square of this pawn is from g1 to d1, d1 to d4, and g4. So this is the magic square of the black pawn. Okay, so now what happens? White to play, white plays the right move, king to d3 or d2. Both are correct in this case. Now what will happen? If Black tries to get his king nearer. Now we see that the king is already in the magic square of the pawn. So after b6, g3, now king has to come into the square of the pawn. So k e2 or e3, both are fine. And now g2, then kf2. And see, the king has stopped this pawn, whereas black king is unable to stop the pawn. So what will happen now? If black was king f6, b7, ke6 and the pawn queens and white will win the position. Okay, let's look at one more variation. So after the move kd3 here, now what happens? Black can try to bring his king quickly. So now king tries to come to f6, trying to reach the square of the pawn. So moment the king tries to reach the square by the move ke5 or ke6 or ke7, white pushes the pawn. And now see, again if the king goes nearer, white will push the pawn and the pawn will become queen. So, here black can try the move g3 again, okay, and then after b7, g2, b8, g1. So, again white will play ke2 and after ke6 again b7. So, ke6, b7, g2 and moment he plays g2, we will go kf2. And after kf2, we note that the black pawn is stopped and the white pawn will queen while force. So after kd7, the pawn becomes queen and the queen will win against this pawn will be taken immediately. So king and queen can checkmate the king. Okay, so let's look at the next position now. Uh, here, this position, we will see another technique in the race of pawn. In the last position, we saw the king came into the square of the pawn. Now, the second thing what happens here, we'll look at this position as both white to play and black to play. Let's see quickly. Here. If white to play, then white wins the game. Let's see how. White plays h6, then b3, h7, and now if black plays b2, after the move b2, h8 becomes queen. Okay, and now black, if promotes the pawn to a queen over here, then the king and queen come in the same line, and after qh7 check, it becomes a skewer. King has to move and then queen takes the queen and it's a winning position for white. So here, after the move h8 queen, black can play the move ac2. Okay, and now he's about to queen the pawn, but with queen versus a pawn on the seventh rank, which will be our upcoming topic also. In few sessions, I'll be covering that. So what will happen here? Whenever, note that, whenever it is any center pawn or knight pawn, then the queen wins against the uh, pawn on the seventh rank, no matter what. So, what is the simple technique? Queen gives check and forces the king in front of the pawn, and then the king advances. That is the right way. So, this is winning for white. Let's look at the position. Same one. If 
it is black to play now so black to play here again with black to play black wins here so after the move b3 h6 b2 h7 b1 queens okay and now see same technique if h8 becomes queen okay then queen check from b2 or a1 and again the skewer in a similar way king will move and queen takes the queen so black will win here again white can try the move king f6 but this time there is another technique which is even easier we give check from the diagonal force the king to go to f7 or g6 and then the queen sits in front of the pawn moment the queen sits in front of the pawn the position becomes an easy win now after kg6 black will simply bring his king nearer and force the king to leave the pawn see king f6 king f5 forcing the king to move here and then see queen into pawn checkmate okay so let's look at one more position so in the first position we saw that the king was reaching the square of the pawn and the opponent king couldn't make it into the square of the pawn in the second position we saw both pawns queens and our queen gives check and takes the opponent to pin so these are two methods and in the third position we look at one more technique so this position is a composed position or a position made by someone okay this is not an actual game position so this position is by retty there was a player called richard retty and he was a famous composer so this position has been made up by him so this position is white to play and it's bit tricky one let's try to understand what is happening so at first look what we see that the white pawn which is about to queen uh, the king is well within the square of the pawn which is about to queen okay and what we see for black the black pawn see is on the h5 square already so king has gone behind the pawn so i told you when the king goes behind the pawn it is out of the magic square so the square of this pawn is see from h5 to h1 queening square we drop a diagonal till the pawn's line and then we draw another diagonal so this is the magic square of the pawn so here the technique that white uses is he tries to approach this pawn okay and also he wants to go to the square of his own pawn so what king has to do king has to come in a midway from the middle it will come and it will threaten this pawn let's see first it will try to threaten this pawn now we will look at two lines here one black can play the move h4 and second the move kb6 look in, looks instantly winning for black first let's look at kb6 now it looks as if this pawn will be taken okay now white plays the good move king f6 king g6 will lose because just h pawn will move and next move king takes c6 okay now see now if king takes c6 then king goes to g5 and takes the pawn by force so it is forced to move the pawn black plays h4 okay after h4 again white uses same technique the king moves to e5 see how nicely he is using the diagonal threatening to come near the pawn and actually he will not go towards his own pawn now see again if king takes c6 then king comes to f4 and next move king g4 and takes the pawn so k c6 king f4 h3 then kg3 and the pawn will be taken okay so again he is compelled to play h3 after h3 now we see king is not able to come to the square of this pawn so now king goes to support his own pawn there now see h2 c7 and now we see if h1 then c8 queen this time the king is placed in such a way that queen check cannot win the queen so h1 c8 will be drawn and after the move kb7 when white plays kd7 and now if h1 queens then c8 equal to queen check and the position is equal okay nothing much can happen king moves to b6 the black king will not come under any trouble and uh, we can see that black queen will not get any chance white can keep on giving checks so the position will become drawn let's look at the last variation so now after the move kg7 black need not play kb6 black can just try to push his h pawn and promote it quickly let's see what happens again white goes kf6 this time we can see that 
the pawn will win by force. Okay. Now again, if king b6, then the move king e5, which will transpose to the previous line. So white plays, a black plays h3 now. Okay. And now what to do? Now the white king, if it goes to e5, then what we see? H2, H1 will queen quickly. So K E5 blunder, then H2, then C7, then K B7. And black means the position. Okay? So this time the method with K E5 is not working. So now white plays king to E6, controlling the C8 square. So now what happens? After H2, he plays C7, now H1 queen then c8 queen is checked so no time for queen h3 check and winning the queen okay and same after the move kb7 again the king reaches d7 okay so after now h1 queen there is again same c8 queen check and the position will be drawn okay so this position is slightly complicated but if you play the moves over the board on the board it will be easy to understand okay so this was starting point of race of pawns I will be doing more lectures on race of bonds where it will be easy to understand uh, what, what are the things which can happen. And another very important thing what we will see is queen versus pawn on seventh rank. We will go into the detailed theory of that in the upcoming lessons. Okay, Do like, share and subscribe the channel. Thanks for your time.